Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. How did your Saturday go everybody? What'd you do? I want to hear. We had a pretty busy Saturday here. I see people popping on now. I'm going to pull you up on my screen and wait for some people to come in. Hi Lori. Welcome. I see Wendy Sue is here. Leanna is here. Diana, welcome you guys. I am going to get this video rolling on my screen so I'm ready to rock. Rachel's here, Joe is here, Bonnie, Jackie, Melissa, Teresa. It's been quiet today, Teresa said. Or maybe I've been quiet, that's unusual. <laughs> Hi Terry, welcome. Yeah, it was a busy day here. So today, Haley came over because Jared works on most Saturdays. So Haley came over and worked on her scrapbook pages. And uh, that was fun. I can't hardly wait to show you guys what she's making because <laughs> it's amazingly beautiful. And I know, she just asked me if I was going to be on tonight too. So I expect to pop her in or see her pop in. I know, I saw your guys' comments where you thought maybe Haley had her baby. She didn't. <laughs> but when Jared got done with work today, um, poor guy walks like 14 miles a day. <laughs> but Haley and him went for a walk at um, a nature preserve. And they saw four deer. I was just looking at my Snapchats and they saw four deer today. And that's the place where I ride my bike over to that nature preserve and then go on a walk every day in the summer. And it's never complete if I don't see any deer. Like I call them my deer. Those are my deer. So she saw four of my deer today and I haven't seen them all winter. <laughs> so I was kind of excited. I'm like, yes, she said. And there was one that was laying down in her picture and it was just a tiny little thing. So that was cute. Um, probably last year's fawn. Hi, Marsha, welcome. Charlene, Letitia. We've got Francie. I know, I'm on late today. And so um, Haley was here and she was scrapbooking all day. I was working on all the things, all my things. And I got my kits for the second round of the Welcome Easter kits. They're ready to rock. Everything is ready to go in the mail. Um, so if you ordered one of those, those will be going out on Monday. And then when I get done here tonight, I'm going to start on the birthday bonanza kits, um, pre-cut card stock packs for everybody who ordered those online classes. I'm hoping to maybe get a good handle on them tonight and maybe finish them. I always underestimate how much time it'll take me to get everything done for the pre-cut card stock packs, but... I have a ton and a half of them to put together. So um, I'm kind of hoping to work on those tonight. Yeah, actually I won't be able to get them done tonight, but I'll work on them tomorrow. So that'll keep me super busy and out of trouble. And then um, I can tell you that um, Steve was really busy today. He went for a Harley ride, but I took a nap. When I got the kits done, I went upstairs to take a nap. And I remember waking up at one point and going, Oh my Lord, just go back to sleep. And I actually did. And now I feel like all refreshed. And um, yeah, I'm, I'll probably be up till three in the morning because, brr, you know, I've, I've got my rest and I feel refreshed. And when I got up from my nap at seven o'clock tonight, I took a shower and I'm just feeling all good. So lots of energy now. Um... Oh, and I have to tell Terry, if you're on here, Terry Sampson, Haley took my Sour Patches today, the ones that you sent me with the Jiffy Popcorn. And she just nonchalantly, the box is on the kitchen counter. She just walked right front by the box. She grabbed the Sour Patches out and I go, hey, and she's like, tough. <laughs> and they're really sour. They're like more sour than usual. So... Um, I might have to pick up another box before I finally get to um, watch Gone Girl. And somebody just asked me if I have a PDF file for the Ornate Garden. I do have an online class, Teresa, that is going to, uh, it, it's on my blog right now in the on last, online class button in the right-hand column. 
and that class will actually be available on April 17th. So I'm taking pre-orders for it right now. Um, we have not made the actual PDF file yet, but we had, we had a long conference call the other day. It was like two hours deciding exactly what we were gonna do for that class. And we got our cards all figured out. Um, it's gonna be eight cards using the Ornate Garden Suite plus a box with four more cards. So it's gonna be a really cool online class. If any of you want to get your hands on that, maybe when I'm done here being live, I will go in and post the link to my online classes so everybody can take a look at those. And I always appreciate your orders for those. Um, the online classes are really, really fun and you can get them with or without pre-cut cardstock, but the pre-cut cardstock um, it's all cut for you, so you can just open up the package and start making your cards right away. Now, you do have to have the Ornate Suite. When you order that suite from me, you're going to get the class for free, the online class for free. You're going to get the cardstock packet as a bonus. Plus, you get another PDF file with 18 different ideas using that whole suite of products. It's like, holy cow, right? So when you order it from me, the suite, the products, you will get all of that stuff. Now, you can also just order the online class from me with the pre-cut cardstock pack, um, or you can just order the online class. For those of you that are global, that means you're not in the United States, you can still order that online class also. So, Bev says she's happy to see me, she's late. Oh, you're just a couple minutes late, you're fine. Uh, Joe is in the middle of making Easter cards. Um, Kimberly said already sold out. There's nothing already sold out. Um, the dies that go with the edgelets, no, no, the edgelets, I think the edgelets go with this one. Those are on low inventory. So I just looked at the inventory list. I think Stampin' Up! may have had a little glitch in the system that said that they were on back order. But let me look again. The ornate border dies, which are these down here, those are on low inventory, it says. So I'm going by our inventory status report that I just pulled up before I came on here live. And yeah, the ornate, these dies are on low inventory. So if you want to get your hands on them before they go on back order, it's a good plan. And if you order the bundle from me, you'll get all that stuff for free. So that's even a better plan. <laughs> all right. What else happened today? Steve was out in the garage working all day. He went for a Harley ride. I didn't even hear him leave. I was sleeping so hard. Um, but he's been making a cart type thing, bench cart thing to put all of his weights on because he took all his weights out of the basement and put them out in the garage. It's a nicer environment to do his little workouts or whatever he does. And um, you can't go to the Y anymore, right? And so he was working on that all day. He was working on one yesterday, and he decided that it wasn't good enough. He said it looked like it came from China. I know that's not nice, but I mean, let's be real. Things that usually come from China aren't real good quality, right? So he scrapped the whole thing and started over, and he says, now it looks like a journeyman steam fitter made this and he's quite happy with it <laughs> I didn't see it yet but I'll see it tomorrow I'll let you guys know what it looks like but I know he was um he was an x-ray welder for the nuclear plants um so he's like a really 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 good welder they had to x-ray the welds in those plants which is a great idea right because we don't want nuclear stuff floating around but yeah so um and then the other thing that was really funny today is Steve came in, Haley was scrapbooking right over there. I'm sitting here working. <clears throat> he came in and he looked at what she was doing. He's like, hey, I thought you were working for your mom. And she goes, yeah, well, and he goes, it looks like all you're doing is eating up all the profits. <laughs> eating, using up all my supplies. It was so funny. Oh, and I see Nadine worked the nuclear plants for 33 years. Yeah, that's quite a process, right? I mean, you have to go through some rigorous background checks and security checks like every single day. It's insane. We have nuclear plants over here about 45 minutes from where we live on the um, on the Bay of 
Lake Michigan. There you go. I'm like, what lake is that? Yeah, Lake Michigan. I'm very geographically um, challenged, and apparently I'm vocabulary challenged, too. <laughs> yeah, I know, Chris, or Joe, I mean, yeah, he said, it looks like all you're doing is eating up the profit. So it's really funny, because Steve will always be... Um, he'll make supper and whatever, and I'll start cleaning, helping clean up. And he's like, no, you go make money. I'll take care of this. So it's always kind of cute. So, oh, is Angie feeling crappy? I'm sorry, Angie. I just saw something that Matthew said that Angie was not feeling well. So sorry. I hope you do feel better soon. <clears throat> and Mercy said, wow. That was fast to go on back order. I know it really was, but you got to remember that <clears throat> if you're a discount shopper, we get to order this stuff a month ahead of time. So all the discount shoppers for Stampin' Up! get to order all of these bundles 30 days in advance. And this bundle is extremely popular. And so <laughs> I just whacked my tiara. Oh my gosh. So that's why it's going on back order already because everybody and their brother bought it as a discount shopper. And, I, you know, it's good for business for sure. I'm happy, but I'm not happy that it's going on back order. But yeah, so if you want to get it, make sure you do it soon. Don't want to miss out. Now, I did drawings from last week, you got, or last week. Last week, really, Kelly? I did drawings from yesterday, last night. Yeah. And I have a winner. I have another half of a pack of this beautiful, let's see if I can fan it, beautiful, beautiful foil paper. And make sure you're leaving a comment here tonight because that'll get you entered in the drawing. Now, if you're watching later on YouTube, you can leave a comment there because everybody goes in the drawing, YouTube and Facebook. And if you're watching later on Facebook, you can also leave a comment and I will put you in the drawing to win. And if you're watching on YouTube later, you're gonna wanna click in the top right hand corner of the screen a little thing will pop up I don't know which is right hand I think maybe that is right now but I'm not real sure my screen is backwards and weird um, that'll take you right over to my store it'll, or to my blog where you can see still photos of everything if I give you the dimensions they'll be on there and um, yeah anywho our winner of this beautiful paper is Jean Shute of Beulah North Dakota Congratulations, Jean. I will have this out in the mail to you on Monday. Yay, you're gonna love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I also got some mail today. Where's my mail? And it's beautiful. Oh, and then I have to show you that other thing. Hang tight. I had to bring this over too. Because I had some pretty cool things show up in the mail. All right, so first of all, uh, this is from Maureen Preston. Look at, she made a whole bunch of these cards that we made one night, right? And she says to me, thank you so very much for this card idea. I'm making over 60 of them for thank yous for my mom's 100th surprise birthday party, if we ever get to have it. I appreciate you trying to help her get the 100 cards. So I put a call out for 100 cards for Maureen's mom for her 100th birthday. So I'm hoping that that was on my page. If you guys saw it, I'm hoping that that will, she'll be able to see 100 cards come in the mail. And she says, thank you again. Thank you also for resending the Brightly Gleaming card kit. If you guys ever order a PDF file from me and then when you go to use it, you can't find it again, you need to save those in your emails, first of all. But secondly, if you ever can't find it, just pop me an email and say you can't find it and I'll send it to you again. It's not hard. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> and she says, best wishes to Haley and her hubby. It won't be long for Weedly to be here. <laughs> um, oh, she says, you deserve that here and it does look fabulous on you. I'm so thankful I came across and watched you on YouTube. I am loving projects you have been doing. You make me laugh every day and right now we all need them. Hope Steve as well. Your friend Maureen. And she's also in my technique club. So thanks Maureen. This is beautiful and it really warmed my heart and I hope your mom gets the 100 cards because anybody turning 100 definitely needs 100 cards, right? Just crazy. Okay and then I got this beautiful card. Hang on a second. I have to do a little thing here. 
This is from Tammy Litsky. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love this. And Tammy sent me a card saying, Kelly, thanks for all you do for our team. She's one of my team members. I hope you are doing well in this crazy time in life. Can't wait to see your grandbaby. Isn't that sweet? And then, of course, she decorated the inside too. Thank you, Tammy. This is just really, really pretty. Like, really pretty. And then, what's in here? Oh, these are my goodies that came from Linda. So Linda is one of my team members. I met her online. And she is just a jewel to our team. Like, she shares a lot of really cool stuff, stuff with me. She's very active. She sent me all of these little sewing kits. And so I'm going to be able to share these with whomever, everybody, you guys. Um, I just thought this was really cool. And I like to have a sewing kit in my luggage and also in my purse. They're even wrapped in a little cellophane bag. Look at that. Right? I like to have them when I travel in case a button falls off my clothes or something. You know, I don't know. Just Maybe that's weird. That's not weird, right? <laughs> Mercy just asked, when is Haley due? And she is due on 420, which is Weed Day. And that's why we call the baby Weed. And her middle name is going to be Lee. So I've been calling her Weed Lee. Because Haley won't tell us the baby's name. <laughs> and then, from Linda Bunce. Oh my gosh. Jean, this is the paper. This is the paper you're getting. So... You mark this down so you can make this beautiful card. Look at it. Isn't that absolutely stunning and gorgeous? I know. I see the hearts coming in, you guys. It's amazing. So I'll be sharing how to make this with you. Um, I probably won't be using the foil paper, but I'll figure out something else because we can't get this anymore. And you guys know that I don't show things that we can't get. I was so grateful to Linda when this, well, the sewing kits were wonderful enough, but then she sent me this card. Like, this is absolutely stunning and beautiful, and it's a fun fold, and she knows I love them. She shares a lot of card ideas with me, and I'm so grateful to her. So, I will be sharing this layout with you guys soon. Do not worry. In case you missed yesterday, this is what we made. These are a um, pop-up box card, and let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. It all lays flat. For mailing goes right in an envelope so if you guys missed this this was yesterday pretty cool right no nah. everybody loves a card that does something this was the other one yeah look at all those umbrellas I have to tell you guys I did get several orders yesterday people ordering the umbrella bundle it's pretty cool right you can get one too yeah they're gorgeous okay what else do I have before I can start oh um, I got a gift in the mail and I'm not going to show you the card right now because we're actually going to make it, but this came in the mail. Look at that boss lady with the crown. Whoops. And check out this pen. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Look at that pen. Yeah, I love it. And this is a notebook. It's just a notebook. But I love the crown. I love that it says boss lady. This came from my friend. Um, and she's my personal coach, Rhonda Wade. So I do training as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator with Rhonda Wade. She is the best in the business. We absolutely adore her. And she gives us the most amazing advice. And I am in one of her training programs. She sent me this gift. And a really, really pretty card that we're going to make tonight. So I'm excited to be able to show that to you. I think we might be ready don't forget to click on that thumbs up button. Click the like button. I really appreciate that. That helps me out a lot. And, oops, I just lost my little note. Um, it'll go on the floor with the rest of them. <laughs> and share my video. Push that share button. You can push that share button right now. That really, really helps me out. Um, it's uh, really good for <clears throat> the analytics behind Facebook. The more people share my video... The more people see it, the more you click on the like button, the more um, Facebook will share my videos with other people that maybe don't watch me now. So, And uh, Bonnie just said we have 362 people watching. Yeah! 
Let's get 362 shares. Oh my, that would be crazy. Okay, I am going to pin up my cord here so it's not in the way. Get some of this stuff out so we can start making cards. I know you guys um, are here to make cards. <laughs> I know that. And I have some beautiful, beautiful, these beautiful cards. And these are cards, like I said, I got this from um, my personal trainer, Rhonda. And you're going to love them. Because when I opened it, I was like, oh, wow. It's really pretty. And it's simple. And that's really, really hard to do. I, have, I struggle making very simple cards that are absolutely, I want to say breathtaking because I think this one is. It's completely gorgeous. And I struggle to be able to do that. It's, um, it's hard. Okay. Are we ready to flip? I think we're ready. Okay, hang on. You can close your eyes if you want to. And let's see. Oh, I can show you guys over there. That's Haley's scrapbook page. I'm not going to show you anymore. Did you catch it? One more time. Boom. There you go. And then you can see all my mess. Well, actually, it doesn't look too bad over there right now. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit for her so that um, she had a little bit more space. I was worried she was going to fall. Yeah. And we, you know, because you got that big belly out there in front of you and it's hard to see the floor and I didn't want her to fall. All right. So. We are going to be using this stamp set and these words. And I tell you, these go together, and that's why they're in a suite together. They are the perfect um, accompaniment for each other, and I love them. We're also going to be using the Gilded Gems, the Classic Label Punch, a little wink of Stella, then I'm going to pull in the metallic edged ribbon. This has got uh, gold edging on it and it's petal pink. It's absolutely beautiful. And in case you missed this particular suite of products, this is a brand new offering. It just opened up April 1st to the public. The entire suite is $136.75. You get these dies and the stamp set, the embossing folder, the ribbon, the gilded gems, these dies and this stamp set and this delicious designer series paper. And I happen to have the paper right here, all the co coordinating colors down here, and this is gold foil paper. Several, four of these have gold foil embossed um, images on them. And then here is all the dies. And this is a ton of stuff, you guys. Just a ton. I love edgelets. Like they're my they're one of my favorite types of dyes. I absolutely love them. But these are all very gorgeous too. And because this is a promotion with Stampin' Up, there's gonna be a gazillion ideas online because every Stampin' Up demonstrator in the world is working with this right now and creating beautiful things with it. So I like those types of promotions. Because I know that there's going to be a ton of ideas. A gazillion, I believe. <laughs> so that's our ornate garden suite. Let me set this off to the side. And what else was I going to show you? There's an embossing folder someplace. Oh, here it is. Here's the embossing folder. Super, super pretty floral folder. Love that. Set these. I'm going to set those over there so I don't lose them. Okay, so... Enough about the ornate suite. Don't forget, when you order this suite from me, you're going to get, well, first of all, you get a file with 18 different ideas in it because you ordered the suite from me. When you place an order with me in April for anything, I have a private tutorial that has six different private videos and projects in it using this suite. And if you order the suite from me, you get the pre-cut cardstock pack for free. You get the... Um, PDF file for free. There, there, that's it. I'm like, is there, that's, yep, that's both of those things. So it's pretty cool. All right, I am going to bring in my piercing mat. And a lot of people that might be new to me always ask me, what, what is this? This is our piercing mat. It's just a foam mat. I wrap it with printer weight paper and tie, um, tape it in the back. 
This is my stamping surface. Um, our bigger photopolymer stamps, you need some type of a surface that's got a little give to it to make them stamp beautifully. So this is what I use. Now we are going to be making, oh, I was going to measure all this stuff before I went live too and I forgot. Um, we are going to be making four cards. And I see I only have three of these, so that's weird. We're going to be making four cards. And the first thing that I wanted to do is do my envelopes. All four of these cards are the same. So here's my idea. We're going to make these four cards. And again, these were designed by Rhonda. I'm using the Magnolia paper. And we're going to be using this petal pink striped side. We're going to be making four cards. And then tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time is my normal Facebook Live that I do um, when we're not in the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> is, that, is, is that a way to say that? Um, tomorrow night we're going to be making some type of a container for these cards to go in. And my idea is to make a little gift set. And I really want to make the little gift set because it's my mom's birthday, April 15th. So I thought it would be so fun to make her a little set of cards. My mom sends out a ton of cards, so she loves getting my cards. And I usually give them to her as a gift. And I hope she's not watching tonight. Did anybody see my mom pop in? Is she watching tonight? I don't want to tell her when I'm giving her for her birthday because that spoils the element of surprise. Sometimes she watches, but she's got a house full of kids. My sister's actually there with her three kids, so I'm thinking she's not watching because... Yeah, she's got her hands full. But anyways, I'm planning on making this as a gift set for my mom. And I thought, hey, this will be perfect for Facebook Live. And everybody can make a little gift set. So tonight we're going to make four cards and matching envelopes to go in some type of a container that I'm going to share with you tomorrow night on Facebook Live. So I haven't designed anything yet, you guys. So that's why I just keep saying some type of container. I have no idea what I'm making. Let's be real. You know I'm not. Um, I am certainly not one who works ahead. <laughs> that just seems to not be in my DNA. So. Oh, do we have a troll, you guys? If that's the case, I'm sorry. Um, I know that there's somebody in here tonight named Matthew that's watching us. He's not a troll. He's a young man who likes to stamp. So if that may be who you're talking about, I don't know. But I can't keep track or keep up with all the comments coming in. But I just want to let you know that Matthew is a pretty nice boy, I think. Unless he's, I don't think he would say anything inappropriate. So yeah, that's my plan. Tomorrow night, we're going to make something to put these cards in. Something beautiful, of course, because it's for my mother for her birthday. And... I have a reputation to uphold, <laughs> so I'm not going to make my mom anything just ho-ho. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. So today was an interesting day. I actually, you guys know I watch a lot of um, investigative TV. I, it's my thing. It's mindless drivel in the background of my day because I really can't pay close attention to anything when I'm, you know, busy stamping. But today I actually turned on um, BBC TV. I saw that on my guide, look at how pretty those are, right? I saw that on my TV guide, BBC TV was, had BBC TV, whoops, had the news on. So I turned that on and I thought, ooh, that'll be interesting to watch the news from a different viewpoint than our own country, right? I don't know if I screwed these up or we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So I think these are three, three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So let's write that down. Three and three fourths by four and three fourths. And this is the black. And then our white ones are going to be whisper white is WW. That's going to be three and a half by four and a half. I'll put these measurements on my blog too when I'm done. I take pictures of all this stuff, but I'm short one. So let me grab a piece of cardstock here. I thought I cut these all up last night because I was actually a little bit ahead of the game, which was amazing. 
So we've got, um, oh, I'm not going to be able to use this for the whole thing. We need three and a half. And then I have no four and a half over here because this is a mini cutter. So, well, that was a great idea. I didn't go too far, did it? Hang on, I gotta get my paper cutter out. And I didn't have any big accidents today like I had yesterday where my Simply Scored tool fell in the garbage and I lost my stylus and then all my paper fell in the, a crack of this. <laughs> it wasn't that funny when it happened, I'll tell you that. Okay, so there we go. We have four pieces of this. And then we've got our DSP and we're gonna use the same DSP. This is two by four and a quarter. So let's do DSP two by four and a quarter. Okay, and then I don't know why I have this, but we don't need it. Okay, let me put this away. Oh, I know. Oh, here's card base. I'm like, I don't even have any card bases. I've got Whisper White card bases here, four of them, and they are all five and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored them at four and a quarter. So we're going to do this. So one of the fun things that I did last night is um, I am part of the Great Lakes uh, demonstrator base. Stampin' Up! has different regions all over the United States and I, I am part of the Great Lakes demonstrator base. And Shannon West is one of the um, creative people at Stampin' Up! She's one of their, um, I don't know exactly what her title is. Does anybody know? She's an executive, well she's kind of an executive. She's a big muckety-muck there. Anyway, she did a Facebook Live for us last night as soon as I got done and it was so cool because she made um, cards using designer series paper and these layouts that was really neat. So I might share that with you at some point here too. Oh, I know why I have this. It's a scrap of petal pink. I'm getting it under control, I promise. So anyways, after I was done with my Facebook Live with you guys, I saw Shannon pop on and it's a private group. And um, I got to watch her do a Facebook Live for us using designer series paper, and she made 10, 11 cards. It was really pretty cool. I know Jenny Miller was on there. Jenny's watching tonight. Okay, so we're gonna take our black ink, and we're going to stamp it just slightly off of this page. We wanna leave some room down here, and this is our little white layer. Then we're gonna bring in another one. And this is just a really nice way to um, do an assembly line making a bunch of cards. Oh, look at that mess. Hang on, I can't. I gotta fix that. I must have did something weird there. And I see I'm getting ink on my fingers too, so that'll be the next thing we get to deal with. Like, oh Lord, Kelly. There we go. Okay, and again, I'm going to stamp this up just a little bit higher because we have some stamping at the bottom of this white layer. Probably doesn't need to be this high, you guys, but I'm just playing it safe. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get done here. Yeah, Jenny said she couldn't pass up watching me and Shannon. I know, Shannon is the sweetest person. Last time um, Stampin' Up! was in the area here, I actually got to go out to lunch with Shannon and Chad Williams. He is a character. And then when I was down in Iowa for a um, local demonstrator event that my good friend Dina was putting on, Chad Williams came to that too, and that was super fun because we kind of got to know him a little bit. We went and had margaritas, and it was just really fun. Okay, so these are all maybe a little high, but you'll get it. Um, okay, so we're done with this one. Now what I'm going to bring in is the Seriously. And the Seriously is coming from the Ornate Thanks. There's so many. There's 19 different sentiments in here. So I've got Seriously. And we're going to stamp that on this layer four times. So I've got one, two... I just stuck my finger in the ink, three and four. Guess what time it is? It is baby wipe time. Hang on, get that off, that ink off my fingers. Oh, I have 
one more thing to share with you guys that I completely, it was tucked underneath my desk. This came today. Let me close this so I don't make a mess out of things. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. Is that not gorgeous? Just a little note to say hello. Look how pretty that is. And it's got Wink of Stella on these flowers. I don't know if you can see that or not, you guys, but it is just, this just screams spring, right? And this is actually from Jennifer Newman. Hello, Kelly. First, I wanted to say, hope this finds you and yours healthy and happy. Your videos have inspired and entertained me. And for that, I say thanks. You are a bright spot in the day, in my day. Thank you so much for your effort. It is greatly appreciated by me and I'm sure many others. I saw this material and it reminded me of Stampin' Up! Butterflies and Gingham Papers. So I wanted to make a receiving blanket for the newest member of your family. Stay well and take care, Jennifer Newman. And she says, I cased Haley's card from you December 2018 and your card was my first attempt at stamping my own paper. So yeah, on, in December of 2018, I had a thing where you make your own designer paper, right? And that certainly looks like you hit it out of the park, Jennifer. And look at this blanket. Haley was here today when the mail came, so she got to open it. Look at this. Is that not just the sweetest? And it's flannel, so it's so, so soft. Jennifer, Haley was so touched. Thank you so much for this. She will get good use out of it, and she will love it. She also sent a little card for Haley, which she got to open today. Welcome to the world. Haley and family wishing you the very best at this exciting time. Jennifer Newman, fan of your mom's, LOL. Isn't that cute? This came from Canada, too. So, thank you, Jennifer. This was just so sweet. Like, my goodness. I'm going to put this card with Haley's, and I'm going to keep my card because she can't have that one. <laughs> oh, and she stamped the envelope. Beautiful, right? So, so pretty. I know. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. I'm so sorry I forgot that I tucked that under my desk. So now we're going to take our classic label punch and we're going to punch out our seriously over towards the right. I'm trying to get it straight here. There we go. I love this punch. I use this punch a lot. It's one of my favorites. So if you had to decide which punch you should get next and you don't own this, I highly recommend it. It's pretty cool. Use it for a lot of things. Okay, so here comes my dimensionals. And I am going to add baby dimensionals to the back of all these. Yeah, Terry says she loves it and it does look like the SU butterflies. It does. Um, somebody just asked if these are stamping up stamps. Where did I just set that card? Did you guys see where I set it? Oh, I put it right behind me. Yes, these are Stampin' Up! stamps. Um, this is from the Daisies. This water splotch thing is. I recognize it. This butterfly is in something. These flowers. Yeah, this is, this is Stampin' Up! stamps. And colors. Very pretty. Okay. Maybe we'll do, uh, maybe I'll do another class on that. You know, like a, a, on a Facebook Live or a video or something on making something like that. Okay, so four of these little buggers. Hang on. I still didn't get the nails put on that Sherry brought over. But I still need to get these off. And I know some people told me to wrap my fingers, um, put cotton on my fingernails with acetone and wrap them in tin foil. And yep, I know they do that at the salon, but... I really don't want to soak my fingers in acetone right now because I think they're kind of a little fragile anyways. And that's pretty harsh stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, we need to do this now. So we used our seriously. I'm just going to clean that off. Now I'm going to bring in your amazing. Okay, so we're going to take... I'm, oh, I'm just going to punch out one of these that isn't on dimensionals just for a little template. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it about 
right here. So I'm going to use that for a template. And we're going to come in right there. Okay. We're going to do that again. And I just smeared it. Yeah. So don't stick your finger in your ink right away like I just did. Let me wash that finger off. And we're going to do the same thing here. You're amazing. Not touching it this time. And you guys know, of course, I'll have to do that one over because I can't give that to my mom. She knows me better than that. She'll be like, oh, what am I, like, chopped liver? No, she would never say that. <laughs> but I would think it. And again. And here comes our last one. Do, do, do. Okay, I love, love, love these. So far, I've done pretty good. We're going to have to redo this one, so just hang with me. Sometimes those happen. Things happen, right? But you just got to suck it up, take control, and do it again. There we go. Here comes our... You're amazing. Set this back in here. I did it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set this one aside because it takes just a tiny bit of drying time. Our black ink dries pretty quick, but usually it takes just a little bit longer on um, Whisper White because Whisper White has a special coating on it that makes it incredibly amazing for your paper. But you need to give it just a second to dry. And now I'm just going to put these right here. My friend Ashley taught me this little trick with the take your pick tool. And yeah, I'm covering up just a tiny bit of the flower image, but it's going to look really cool. Trust me on this. Trust me. I will not lead you astray. And the one thing you just want to make sure is that you're stamping your words straight and that you get this label on here straight. That's, that's important. Let me close this up before we have a complete colossal disaster. And this last one, we got dimensionals everywhere. I bought a new vacuum cleaner. I think I bought it last week and it, it was delivered. Steve got it all put together, but it doesn't have like the little end on it. You put it on the long thing and it's got the end that's about this long that you attach on there so that you can go around with the, ins you know what, you guys, what would you call that? The attachment dealy whopper. So thank gosh, Steve didn't throw out the old vacuum cleaner so I could run outside and grab the attachment thing off of there and thank goodness it fits the new vacuum cleaner, but I was highly disappointed. Like, how are you going to vacuum your you know, when you need to vacuum under a desk or under a bed or something like that. Like, come on, Hoover. And then, of course, I like all my onboard attachments that clip into all their little places so all your pieces are all on your vacuum cleaner, but this one doesn't fit on there because there's no place to attach it. I should have paid better attention to my advertising in the ad. I, I bought it from Amazon because I'm not going shopping. And I think you guys saw today where um, Walmart put out directives that they're only allowing five people per thousand feet square feet of store space into their stores at a time. That's kind of crazy, right? But we need to get this virus thing under control so that we can get back to life as we know it. Oh, I cut all these wrong. That's great. Well, it won't hurt anything. If you want to, you can make them tall cards like open this way. I didn't do that, but it, it's okay. Now we're going to take all of these. Remember, these are our two by four and a quarter inch layers, and we're going to put them all at the bottom of our card bases. Hang on, my tear is sliding into my face again. <laughs> I don't know why. My head is shrinking. So you guys, I was really shocked because, you know, I've not been doing real good on, well, I don't exercise, but I've been kind of eating a lot. I thought and so I jumped on the scale was it yesterday I think and I've actually lost three pounds like how's that even possible I was pretty happy about it I'm not complaining I told Haley that and she was like shut up 
Hmm. I said, don't worry, honey. You're going to have that baby pretty soon. You know how when you get to the end of your pregnancy, you just feel like so bloated and ugh. I know. It'll get better, I promise. And as a mom, you want to take away that you know, crummy feeling. She looks beautiful and she's brewing a baby. That's why I keep telling her, you are be you're building a baby in there. You're growing a baby. Don't worry about it. There'll be lots of time to worry about all that when you're done brewing that baby. Okay, so I'm just trimming off these edges because I'm anal about that and it makes me a little crazy. Oh, I jacked that one up kind of. Oh no, I got it. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay tricky sometimes to get your scissors in here close enough, isn't it? Because my handle keeps getting in my way. There we go. And one more. I always tend to cut on the bigger side because if this comes up short, I don't like that at all. There we go. Okay. Here's all our card bases. And now it's time to play with some ribbon. This is my bow jig. Now, if you don't have a bow jig, you're just gonna tie some bows, okay? Just like you always do. But if you have a bow jig, this thing is the best thing ever. It's just a piece of wood with some holes in it and you just make one. And as a crafter, I have a drill. Like I have a little battery operated drill for doing my craft. So you just ask somebody for a chunk of wood or you can go to, Man well, you can't really go shopping right now, but you know what I'm saying. You can go get a chunk of wood from somebody and you can make yourself a bow jig. You don't need anybody to make one for you. And if you don't have the supplies to do something like that, ask somebody. People want to help people right now. And so you need help with the bow jig, you ask somebody to make one for you. And I'm sure they will. Because people are nice that way. But all it is is holes drilled in a piece of wood. So let me talk about this a little bit. There's two holes in the middle here. They're an inch apart. And then the holes on each side are just a half an inch further. And it never fails. I get somebody that will email me and say, can you tell me about the bow jig? I'm telling you right now, it's just holes in a piece of wood. Half an inch or an inch in the middle and a half an inch on each side. And quite frankly, it doesn't even matter if your holes are spaced out evenly or not. You just need some holes so you can make different sizes of bows. That's all this is about. And my friend Denise is no longer making bow jigs because actually... It was a lot of work for a tiny amount of money, and she decided she just isn't going to do it anymore, and I don't blame her. But have somebody make you a bow jig. You got a grandchild, you got a, a, a daughter or a son or a neighbor, or if they've got a drill in their garage, they'll have a piece of wood, and they can make one for you. And if you have people in your life that aren't willing to do that, you need to find some new people. <laughs> that's, that's my advice. Because those are not nice people if they're not willing to make you a little piece of wood with some holes. Now I'm going to take oops, mini glue dots and we are going to put them right on the back of our pretty little ribbon. Now I tried to make these with a whole bunch of different colors and what I can tell you is... I don't know if I like that or not, is um, this was really the only color that I liked. It was just so, isn't that pretty? Just wait till I get the whole thing together. You're going to love it. Like I said, I thought it was just stunning when I opened this card up that Rhonda sent me. And I'm like, oh my Lord, that is what we're making for Facebook Live. Now, see how this ribbon is going over here and it's covering up my words? I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mini glue dot and I'm going to put it right here, maybe, right here, and I'm going to do this. Look at that. Now I made it stay where I want it to stay. Don't be afraid to do that. You be the boss of your bows. <laughs> be the boss of your bows. Comes another one. 
Donna says her husband used used dowels. Yes, that works too, but here's the deal. Here's what I found, and that's great. I'm glad you have some. Um, the dowels don't allow your ribbon to slide off as nice as nails do. The nails are actually nicer because I have one with dowels in it too. But any kind of a bow jig is nice, and you will get used to it, whether it's wood or nails. If you haven't made one yet, I do recommend the nails. But if you do have one and it's dowels, yay. Yay for you, because they all work really good. Okay, here we go. We're going to add the black layer. And you're just going to center this on your card. And that's all there is to these cards. Well, there's a little bit more, so hang on. Because i got to put some embellishments on them. But you saw how little time it took me to make a whole set. And, you know, they're all the same. I realize that. But my mom is going to love these. They're so pretty. And she sends out a lot of cards, my mom does. She's a big card sender. She doesn't, she's not a card maker. My mom's actually a painter. She likes to paint, and she does toll painting, which is an old, I don't know, Norwegian or Swedish type of painting. I can't remember. But she makes some really pretty stuff. Okay, last but not least, and this is very, very important, we're going to color with Wink of Stella. And all you're going to do is just color some of the little highlights on the petals. You don't want to, you know, smush the whole thing with Wink of Stella, but just the veins in the leaves. And I know you can't see this, but it's just that tiny little glint of Wink of Stella on these cards that rocked my world. And you're gonna just leave them all white. Veins, I'm just doing this. Don't, you can, you can be as nice and neat with it as you want, or you can just do one little swoosh on the petals. Ah, hang on, I just got a glob. You can wipe it off if you get a glob, <laughs> just like I did there. Let me tilt it. Oh, yep, looking pretty. Gotta do some over here. What do you guys think of these cards? I got one more thing I'm going to do to them. I keep saying I got one more thing, but I keep forgetting that I have more things. Okay. Oh, I got to do this one yet. Then I'll, I'll hold it up to the light so you can see it. Now, of course, you could color the whole flowers, but I just don't think it's necessary. That little glint of Wink of Stella on here. And when Haley saw this card, I showed it to her today. She was like, oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. They really do look much prettier in real life. Give it a try. But it's just a little glint. Okay, then the other thing that we're going to do to these is we're going to add some of these gilded gems. There is um, gold on our ribbon, right? So we're going to accent that. Haley asked me today, this annoys her because it keeps kind of rattling around. She's like, what is this end even for? And I'm like, oh my lord. This is for to put the gems on. And she's like, how come never nobody ever told me? And I said, well, what did you think it was for? She's like, I don't know. It was so funny because once I told her what it was for, then she liked it. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick these flowers here. This is exactly what Rhonda did. I'm using my take your pick tool. I've got one right out there. What do you think? I hope, can you see that Wink of Stella on there, you guys? Oh, I missed this leaf. Hang on. I see that I don't have any little winks on there. That's what I love to call it. Haley and I have been working together, and I'll tell her, get the wink. Try the wink. She's in love with the wink. A little bit more right there. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Okay, so, whoops. We're going to keep going here. So now I can ask you guys, what are you drinking tonight? What is in your favorite cup? You guys know what I'm drinking because I miss boring pants, right? Yeah. 
I'm pretty boring. What can we chat about? What'd you have for supper? I didn't eat supper yet. I slept. <laughs> I'll eat when we're done. Steve actually made a pizza. And it just got done two minutes before I was going to come on here. So he goes, do you want some pizza? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, when are you going to eat it? And I'm, when I get done, you just put some on a plate for me, Mr. Pizza Eater. He'll eat the whole thing. Isn't that funny how guys can eat the whole pizza? I could never eat a whole pizza. I would, like, explode. And I suppose it depends on how big it is, too. But nope, I can't eat a whole pizza. I can eat a lot though. When I got up from my nap, I took my bowl of dip upstairs and um, had some Fritos with my Henning dip. That was delicious. And then I watched Live PD. I like Live PD. And oh my goodness, this guy, or I think it was a guy, I never saw who they caught, but they did catch him. He jacked a car someplace and he drove it crazy and of course they were chasing him and he plowed into somebody's house and ended up coming right through the wall in the kids' bedrooms and thank God the kids were not injured because their beds were on the other side of the room but like jeez people. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more here. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Here comes a big gem and a medium gem and a baby gem. Yeah, these really add a lot, don't they? Seriously, you're amazing. And are you guys still with me? You want me to give up the ghost here? You want me to keep coloring with wink and get all of these done? I'm really excited about what my box is going to look like. It, it may not be a box. It may be some type of other container for tomorrow to make to put these in. But I can tell you that you can't go wrong with this designer paper or these stamp sets. Now, this designer paper is the Magnolia paper. Oh, I should have shown you that. Um, it comes in a big package like this. And the paper is so incredibly beautiful. Let's see if I have a sampler of that. I'm pretty sure that I do. Hang tight. Now, the neat thing about the Magnolia paper is that you can buy it in a bulk pack. You can get the entire pack of designer paper, or you can get a bulk pack that has more in it. So when you go to the online store, make sure you look. You can just put in, it's called, here it is, Magnolia Lane Designer Series Paper. And when you put that in a search, um, the bulk pack will also come up. But the paper is so, so pretty. And I don't think it's really possible, like I said, to make anything ugly with it. Because it's gorgeous. And of course it's all color coordinating. But Magnolia Lane Designer Series Paper. And then I combined it with the Ornate Garden Bundle. So just so you know where that's coming from. Let's see if I can figure out where I left off but yeah it's really really pretty and I love that our petal pink this ribbon just is what really did it like I said I tried a bunch of different combinations I wanted to use the ornate paper to make these cards but I just couldn't put it together as well as Rhonda did so I'm like well heck with it I'm doing what she did I wanted to share, of course, the very best with you, not some remake of mine that was mediocre. I, I hate it when I attempt to do that and then it doesn't work out. It's like, oh, I kind of wanted to make it my own, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to go with what you have or what's been done for you and suck it up and say, that is the best. I mean, that's the best. So pretty for this layout. And I wish I could see all your comments while I'm coloring this stuff, but I really can't. Because i got to kind of pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'll put the gems on that in a second. I'm just going to get this one winked up here. Yeah. And Terry. Terry goes, and buy two packs, right? Yeah, buy two packs so you don't have to skimp. It was funny. I got an email today. I think it was from Sarah Free Tag. She's on here, I think, tonight, and um, she said, you know what, you're absolutely right about that, about the paper. 
use up your designer paper. It goes out of style. Then you have all this old paper. You can't make anything. It's, it's tricky to design with it because the colors are outdated or the patterns are outdated. And you do be chintzy with it because you only have a little bit. If you buy two packs of paper, you're going to use it. Like, you're not going to feel like you have to be chintzy with it. Because here was my thing. When I used to hoard paper, um, my biggest thing was, is I know the minute I use up this one pattern, and, you know, I've got two sheets of it, but the minute I use it up, I'm going to find the most amazing card, and I'm not going to have any of that pattern to make that card. Yeah. I, that's the way I used to think all the time, and it's 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 normal, it's human, but I solved the problem because now I rarely ever buy one pack of paper. I buy two so that I don't feel like I have to be chintzy with it, and it really kind of stunts your creativity. There you go. That's I'm gonna say that because I think that's true. It's like oh I'm not gonna use it, and then you never end up using it. You could have made some amazing things with it, but no you're afraid you're gonna run out so then you hoard it and pretty soon it sits on your shelf for 20 years and then I hear you saying and I used to say it too oh I can't buy any paper I have way too much paper right now get rid of it get some new stuff and use it oh my gosh this is just so so did I get that leaf I did so pretty I wish you guys could see it I hope you will do something like this um, even if you don't have these stamps Take like a big outline stamp like the flower one that I have here and, and do these cards. These dimensions are perfect for this. That's the other thing that I really liked about this is the layout is very cool. And here we go with one more right there. And last but not least, here comes another one. These are really pretty, these gilded gems. I ordered three packs of these so I wouldn't have to be skimpy on them. I'm glad I did, too, because Haley made a bunch of swap cards for me using these gems, and I would have run out already. I've used them a lot. Look at how pretty, you guys. Do you love these? I just love the card Rhonda sent me. Okay, here's our envelopes and our cards, and then tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time, I will be on again live. And we're going to make some type of a container to put these in. But I used this pattern from the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. This color coordinates with black, early espresso, mossy meadow, petal pink, so saffron, and whisper white. And again, there's a bulk pack of paper. Let me see if I can find that. I'll sh show you what I'm talking about here. So all of our designer series paper in the annual catalog is on pages 165 through 168, okay? And the Magnolia paper is right here. And I don't know what the bulk is, but you'll find this in the online store when you put in Magnolia Lane, then all the Magnolia Lane things will come up and you'll see one that is a bulk paper order. You can order that in bulk. And it's only got four of the patterns in the bulk one. The regular is $11.50 and it has all the patterns that I just showed you here. But the bulk one only has four of the patterns in it. Like, yeah, you'll see it. Read, read the details on it. Oh, Cynthia wants to know what I'm putting on the inside. I don't know that I'm going to put anything on the inside of here. The inside of my card from Rhonda, and again, hers opens like this. And she said, Kelly, I'm so grateful for you and love having you as a part of the training team. Your continued hard work, positive spirit, and heart shines through in all you do. Keep rocking it. Hugs Rhonda. Isn't that cute? But she didn't put anything on the inside of hers. I don't know. You know what? I just had an idea. Hang on. This might be a really good idea. I hope I don't wreck these. <laughs> okay, we're going to try something, you guys. So, I'm going to just make sure there's no residue left on here. And then I'm going to grab my petal pink. I'm going to take this big floral stamp. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to stamp off once. We'll see. And I'm going to bring this in here and stamp it. 
just like that. Look at how pretty that is. So you're going to write right over top of that. It's not going to interfere with what you write. What do you guys think? Now, this one I'm going to do a little different because I just had kind of another idea. Haley said she just woke up from a nap. Good for you, honey. Look at how pretty that is. Now that's stamped off. So maybe on the next one, I'm not going to stamp off and I'll just put it down here in the corner. What do you think of that, you guys? Thanks, Cynthia. That was a great idea. Yeah, Jen said the Christmas rose stamp would work too. That's another really good one. Um, and a matter of fact, I think that suite is on clearance right now on the clearance rack too. So if you guys wanted to get your hands on that. I have an online class with that Christmas Rose suite of products. How pretty, right? Should we do the front of the envelope? Why not? Let's let's do it, you guys. Here we go. I'm going to do just like that. Look at how pretty that is. I'm going crazy. <laughs> and there it is again. Back of the envelope, front of the envelope. Cynthia so glad you asked me about that. And here we go. Yeah, I probably, I think I like this look. That's pretty cool and it's very different, right? But I think I really like this the best. What do you guys like the best? Do you like it in the corner? This is pretty neat. Maybe do two this way and two this way. That's a good idea. But I would definitely stamp off once in here because you want to make sure that you... You can be able to write over that and it's not going to interfere so you can't read what you're writing. Okay, here's our envelopes. Here's our beautiful cards. And I don't think Rhonda Wade watches my show, but if she does, Rhonda, you knocked it out of the park with this one, sister. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Now, don't forget... If you order the Ornate Garden Suite from me, it's $136.75 for all the things. You get two bundles, two stamp sets, two sets of dies, designer series paper, um, embossing folder, ribbon, gilded gems. You get all the things. Plus, you'll get my online class for free. You'll get um, a file with 18 different card ideas in it besides my online class. So that's a whole bunch more. Plus, if you just place an order with me in April, I will give you a file with six exclusive um, card ideas using this particular bundle, whether you order it from me or not, just a regular order. You can order cardstock, and I'll give you the PDF file for six exclusive projects using the Ornate Garden. This is my web. This is my blog. If you go there, you're going to see an online ordering button in the right-hand column. Um, you can click right up here if you're watching later on YouTube. That's going to take you to my blog. Later on YouTube, please don't forget to click down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. How'd I do, you guys? Was it worth the wait? I know I came on late tonight. I will, here, I'm going to put this right up to the camera so you can see the dimensions. Then I don't have to take the time to type them up. I told you guys that I'm kind of trying to cut back on all the things that I usually do for my Sunday night Facebook Live. I will continue to do all those things for Sunday night Facebook Live. That is my regularly scheduled Facebook Live. But on these daily Facebook Lives, I have to cut back someplace. And doing a whole huge complete blog post for each day is um, takes me about an extra two to three hours. It's quite time consuming. So, here's the dimensions, black, whisper white, designer series paper, and then our card base is 8.5 by 5.5 or 11 by 4 and a quarter. Rhonda's card that she sent to me was the tall kind. The ones that I made are the wide kind. So, you decide what you want. And, did I miss any questions for anybody? Did I miss any questions that you guys had? I'm now looking. Oh, I'm going to flip back over here so I'm not talking to the back of your head. Hang on. Here I am. And, oh, look at my crown is going off the back of my head. She's Louise. <laughs> Having some crown problems. Okay. 
Oh, good. Deanne said her husband is going to make her a bow jig. Oh, look how far my phone got behind on comments. Whew, I just flipped them right off the side. There we go. Deb says she loves the cards. Brenda, very lovely. Beb Ann, gorgeous. Pretty says Helen. Thank you guys so much. I can't take credit for the design, but I'm glad that I was able to show these to you because, I, like I said, I just so fell in love with this. It was just so pretty. Can you see at all? Let's see if I can. Nope, it just gets washed out. I wanted to show you that glimmer on there. Yeah, I don't know. It's so, so pretty. It's really good in real life. So, I have my work cut out for me. Tomorrow I have 68 kits to build. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for ordering these online class kits from me. I so appreciate it. Um, but I have a lot of kits to build. And um, I have to figure out what am I going to put all these cards in, right? What are we going to do? I have a couple ideas that I've kind of held on to. So I just have to sit down and do it and see what I want to do. I'm reading your um, messages right now. Oh, who just said that? Bobby, can't wait to see what my container will look like. Denise, I'm so glad that you got to catch us live. Um, yeah, we're here every day, and it's different a different time every day, but I will be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time right here on this Facebook page. And uh, I got to go eat some pizza now. <laughs> Steve better have saved me some pizza or I'm going to lose it. No, I won't lose it. I'll be fine. I'll have some more clam chowder because he bought this giant bag of clam chowder from the... Um, deli at our grocery store which isn't open so they're putting the the um the soup in bags like you can buy it like a bag of milk if you guys ever see those bag of milk bags of milk yeah so but this giant bag of clam chowder i've been eating it every day this week sherry just asked is it the easter kits i already have the easter kits done sherry they are going out in the mail on monday i printed all the labels they're stuffed in the envelopes the envelopes are sealed i have them in my mail um, pick up container. Those will be picked up Monday morning and out in the mail to you. Thank you very much. I know that you ordered one of those. Um, the birthday bonanza number two online class that I did is what I'm going to be working on tonight and tomorrow to get also in the mail on Monday. So I don't know what else I might have for you tomorrow night for Facebook Live. It might be a short one like this. Who knows? But I do think I have something else up my sleep. We'll see. We'll see what happens, you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do. Oh, I see more messages here. Hang on. Clam chowder sounds like I might need to make some. Oh, I've never made it, but I love it. I love that little chewy clam thing. I don't like it so much when you get the little sandy grits in there, but <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's kind of gross, <laughs> but I do love clam chowder. And Helen says she used to get the bagged milk. My mom always buys the bagged milk. We have a dairy that is um, not too far from her house. And they have always sold bagged milk for a million years since I was a kid. She's been buying. <laughs> well, I'm not a million years old. <laughs> She's been buying bagged milk. So Sherry says she had pizza tonight. Good for you. What else do I have? Oh, Lana says, thank you. Appreciate what you are doing to keep us entertained. You know what, Lana? I think this is as much for me as it is you. It keeps my mind off things. It keeps me super busy. Like, I am busier than I've been. And I'm a pretty busy person. So it keeps me super busy. It doesn't let me sit and ponder and obsess over the complete chaos and insanity that is going on in our world right now. Right? It's good for everybody. So thank you for tuning in because if I didn't have people tuning in, I don't know if I would, I would probably still do it because like I said, it's, it's for me too. So Cindy says she's never heard of a bag of milk. Well, Cindy, we have milk in half gallon bags and it's pretty cool. And maybe when I go, um, our quick trips, and you guys don't have quick trips on the West Coast, but our quick trip stores have um, bags of milk. Yeah, Sherry just said quick trip sells it. Cindy's from um, Oregon, Coos Bay, Washington, Oregon, Coos Bay. I know Coos Bay. 
Um, and they don't have quick trips there. That's kind of a Midwest thing, or I think maybe even just Wisconsin, quite frankly. But yeah, maybe you can make some type of a stationary project. Hmm, that's an idea too. All right, I'm going to go eat pizza. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you tuning in. Please be, come back and join me tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here. Share this video so maybe your friends will join us too. Thank you. Good night.